the Larpool Viaduct was without doubt the most challenging engineering feat on the line and was constructed to carry a single track line over the River Esk and Valley near Whitby. These two photographs taken by Whitby photographer Frank Meadow Suckliffe offer us a fascinating insight into its construction. The two pictures were taken from opposite ends of the site and not on the same day. In the earlier picture we see scaffolding on the pier close to the wooden hut, while in the later one the scaffolding has been removed and looks to have been placed on the ground, perhaps awaiting redeployment. Although the site workers did use some mechanised steam driven lifting and digging equipment, much of the work was done by good old fashioned manpower, digging and hod carrying. Hard work, low pay. Due to its situation close to the sea, the design avoided the use of iron, using brick and cement construction. The design was based on the Saltburn viaduct. Construction began in October 1882 and was complete by October 1884, although as these photographs testify health and safety was not of major importance, only two men fell from the piers during construction but, thankfully, recovered. The resident engineer was Charles Arthur Rollinson. The contractors were John Waddell and Sons. The viaduct was a 13 arch structure, 915 feet long, with the rail level reaching 120 feet high. The foundations on land were excavated to the level of rock and formed from slag based cement. The river foundations were excavated in brick lined wells. The river foundation excavations were complicated by large oak trees found embedded in the river, which required divers for manual removal. Piers 5, 7, 8 and 9 had triple foundations connected above the water level by two semicircular arches. The main arches were 55 to 65 feet wide and 27 6 inches high and made of bricks 7 deep. Services on the line ended in March 1965 as a result of the beaching report. The viaduct became Grade 2 listed in 1972 and in 2000 much of the former line and the viaduct were opened to the public. By 2006 parts of the brickwork had become unsafe due to spalling and parts of the outer layer were replaced. As of 2012 the viaduct is part of the Scarborough and Whitby Rail Trail 
also promoted as the Scarborough and Whitby Cinder Track. The viaduct is mentioned in Bram Stoker's 1897 novel, Dracula. The little river, the Esk, runs through a deep valley, which broadens out as it comes near the harbour. A great viaduct runs across with high piers, through which the view seems somehow further away than it really is.